If there is no wind, you you have to throw it as hard as you can. So if you don't if you don't throw very hard, it'll just nosedive right in the ground. Having a game plan helps these soldiers maximize the potential of the Army's lightweight eye in the sky, the unmanned aerial vehicle, or UAV, in this case called the Raven. 23 soldiers from across 3rd Armor Brigade Combat Team, 4th Infantry Division, trained to understand and master the art of flying these new age surveillance assets in the windy hills of Fort Carson, Colorado. The Raven differs from other UAV models by being man-packable, versatile, and lightweight. Several soldiers training today have experience with UAVs, but the Raven they hold in their hands now has a new ability that increases its usefulness. Raven just got a new payload. It's a gimbal. It's 360 degree camera. So it's highly usable now compared to before it was a fixed camera. So there's so much more use you can utilize it with. Operators take instruction on fundamentals of flight and how to control the UAV from the ground. The soldiers take turns switching roles from vehicle operator to mission operator. As the teams take turns setting up and preparing to fly, the master trainers go on to watch and make sure the training is being done to the letter. Flying a UAV is an emotional experience for many of the operators. And when you get the hang of it, at first you're nervous, and then, but once you get the hang of it and you get to fly it around, it's a lot more fun. While teams test their proficiency, several explain the worth of this often misunderstood asset of new age warfare. Um, I'm actually, I actually feel pretty cool, you know, I'm actually can be used as an asset whenever I, whenever you need it be, you know. It's actually a big thing because, you know, I've actually flown one of these in Afghanistan and it's a huge thing to be able to uh, fly these things. It makes you feel kind of important, you know. <laughs> it makes you feel um, actually like I'm trying to do something for the team, you know. So it's actually, it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling. As the soldiers practice flying and landing their Ravens, the transfer of knowledge from experience to trainee is not lost on the instructors. Uh, it feels good. I mean, knowledge is power, and it's our pleasure to uh, give this knowledge and power to these students so that they can in turn take it and give it to their soldiers and just make the Army a better working component as a whole. Sergeant Toby Wall, Fort Carson, Colorado.